hi guys welcome to my channel Windsor medals so today i've got a good video for you i've got a video it's how to fix a second clasp onto a medal that's already got a clasp so i've seen a lot of people try and fit these clasps using all sorts of stuff string cotton tape you name it they've used it and they don't look really good and it's not a very smart way of trying to do it so i just thought this would be a good video just to show you how to do it properly so basically on this clasp here it's a general service medal with a northern ireland clasp you've got these side bits these round bits of metal with a hole in it and then the other clasp that's going to fit on it it's got the same thing and the design they should fit together slot in place like so but a lot of times the round bits at the side don't marry up and you've got to gently maneuver them with a pair of pliers so they fit into place so i've already done that with this one a little bit but you can just see there on the left hand side how the gap's slightly bigger so this needs to come down a bit on this side so i've got my um, pliers here so on the second bar i need to uh, push the round bit of metal, metal that way and then on the bottom clasp i need to come the other way so all you do is you get your pliers because the metal is nice and soft you just gently move it a little bit and then on this clasp we just need it to go out a bit right so the clasps should line up pretty good now bit better yeah you can see that straight away so that's the first job is to line the clasps up so the holes all meet correctly so you can um, fit the metal rod through the hole so this is what you're not what you're meant to use they're called metal rods and you can get these from Worcestershire medals that they, they um, sell them and it's just basically a thin bit of straight metal that's quite soft normally they're a bit longer and i have actually clipped a bit off this rod with a pair of clippers it needed a few millimeters off so i've um, chopped it off so if it sticks out a bit just chop it off with a pair of clippers metal clippers so all you do is you feed the rod through the holes just making sure everything's lined up push it right through it's a bit fiddly but you'd be able to do it nearly there okay so just check your holes are lined up this side and then it will just pop through with a bit of look oops popped out again just bear with me right okay it's popped through that side now so there's quite a bit of pressure within that bar so i mean you could actually mount the metal like that and you'd be pretty confident it wouldn't come out or move but i always just put a tiny bit of gel super glue at the back and then you know 100 percent it's not going to pop out and it'll just hold it perfectly in place so it's best not to use the liquid um, super glue just use the gel stuff it's easier to control and it's just literally a tiny little bit and you can't see it because it's at the back of the metal just the tiniest little bit there and like i say you can't see that when you mount it once it's dried you can't see it so you can see that the rod it's just protruding about a millimeter so that's about right so if you add more clasps you just go through the same procedure with another rod move the round bits at the side and i have seen medals with like four five six clasps on there they're a lot harder to mount obviously because you've got to thread the ribbon through the clasps which is uh, quite hard to do but that's how you fit a metal clasp to a metal coincidentally this is um, a gsm metal with an aerops iraq bar 
on the top and then you've got the Northern Ireland clasp underneath. So the Air Ops Iraq bar is in the right position there because it's junior to the Northern Ireland clasp. So i.e. this person went to Northern Ireland first and it's the senior clasp and then the Air Ops Iraq goes above it because that's the junior clasp and that's how it's fitted again. Like campaign medals, it's chronological date order of time of service. So if you've got any questions, any comments, please feel free to comment below. I'll answer any questions. So that's how you fit the clasp. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video on how to fit the clasp. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed. And also just to let you know, I'll be bringing lots of content to this channel of how to do things about British military, British medals. And obviously we'll be doing some tailoring jobs. I'm going to do a video on swing mounted medals very soon. So Hope you've enjoyed this quick video, so thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.